Hi, I'm Bill Hugel and uh, live on Toledo Bend Lake and fish for a lot of black bass. And today we're going to tie a fly I call the, the uh, Spooky Shad. It was really designed after um, uh, the Zara Spook. And uh, it, it's a very, been a very effective fly for me to, to tie, very simple to tie. Uh, composed of a few materials. I use a I use a jig hook because if you think about a zero hook, a zero spook, the um, uh, the connection point is is underneath the center of gravity for the for the uh, uh, the lure and it helps add some of that interesting motion to it. So we're going to put the uh, we start out with a with a this is a uh, eagle claw uh, 410 jig hook. And uh, we're going to use some simple foam materials to start with. This is uh, fun foam. It comes a little sticky on one side. Uh, this foam is, uh, is you get at Walmart or someplace like that, which is double-sided foam, and uh, consists basically of uh, it's sticky on, on two sides. And then we use uh, this material is called Estaz, and uh, we'll we'll put plenty of that on. It adds a lot of flash to it. And of course, we're doing the. The, uh, the tail is made up of uh, some marabou. I like to use white, but uh, it, it can be tied in many, many colors. So let's uh, go ahead and start, start the process here. So the first off, I make the tail roughly the, uh, a little bit longer than the, than the uh, shank of the hook. I just put that on. This is so, such an incredibly simple fly, easy to fish with. I found it to do... Uh, just uh, wonders with uh, with the school bass in the summertime. We have them come up and they bust a shad up there, and uh, this this seems to really be effective and simulate the shad that we have. All right, so now we've got our marabou tail on. We need some of this single sticky sided foam, and I cut a piece that's going to go around the. This is probably about three eighths of an inch, and it will and it's going to fit around the the shank of the hook. Uh, so I need, so I want to make a measurement here of, of uh, the si the amount of this foam that I want to use. Okay, so we we'll cut that off and just peel peel off the uh, the sticky back and and put it down. Now what I'm gonna I'm using this because I want some flotation in the fly and the and again I don't want to tie this down too hard, but. Uh, Cinch it up a little bit, and we're going to use a we use a technique to uh, to shape the fly to get the the hump that I'm looking for on it. Now at this point, we can tie on some of our estaz, and it gets put on at the back. Uh, just again, just put it on. This is not a very fussy fly in the way that you uh, that we do things. Okay, now we got the fun foam on. Now I want to cut a cut a section of this. It turns out this is just about the right width of the half inch that we get out of this. So I cut off a little piece of that, peel off the uh, the side the the side that's protected. This one side, as you'll notice, is sticking to me. That just peels right off, and we just center that over over the foam they had. Now this foam you'll, is very, very soft and so we want to be real careful about doing it, but we can use it to shape, shape uh, very careful about compressing it, but we can use it to shape the, um, the fly a little bit. All right, then I cut another section of that, again about we're cutting off the half inch section, but this time I want, I want to add a little different to the difference in the, in the shape and I want this fly to be shaped a little bit bigger at the front. This one's coming off much easier. All right, now we just put that on here. You can see we just kind of go over that a little bit. And, uh, and that's the under, the under portion. Then we just carefully wrap this Estaz over the fly, over the foam. The sticky part helps it stay in, in place.
what you want to do is you want to make the cylinder at the top. When you see it jump, that's just a little wet spot or a spot of moisture. You want to take it, make a cylinder at the top, and it pretty much tells you. It just doesn't get any easier than this, and it's such an effective fly. I fish a lot with spin fishermen, and they they just have a always manage to stay ahead of me. But I can I can beat them with this one. Okay, that's that's pretty much it. That's our that's a completion of the fly. We're going to put some eyes on it to make it look uh, look a little different. Okay, we can now uh, color it with uh, putting. You can put almost any color that you want in this, but I like to like to put a little bit of a blue, kind of colored like some of the some of the hard baits that I've seen. And then uh, we also want to put a little bit of red on there. Get a red. These this is a permanent marker that that uh, does well in the in the. Um, It's a permanent, so so we don't have a problem with the with the coloring. It's the, it all stays there. Okay, in the last section on this now, of course, we want to put a little glue on, but we also like to have a little eyes on this guy, just kind of helps them float a little bit better. So I use the the doll eyes that we have. These are the, the doll eyes, four millimeter doll eyes, I think, is what the size of these are. And use a little bit of, of uh, shoe goo or e, this is E6000. Again, a, just a, a kind of material that, that uh, is pretty waterproof when it dries. And it's the best material I've found for holding on eyes. And that's it. There we have the spooky shed.